Welcome to the Dock Rock, brought to you by Ainsley Lanesley, powering this Ineos Britannia America's Cup team. So it's day three of the Challenger Series, and after a strange day yesterday where we raced a ghost race, today plenty in the schedule, not least two races for us against the Swiss and the Italian. Now, in order to really be fired up for those races, what do the sailors need? Well, they certainly need a hell of a lot of food. So I've, I've managed to bring in <laughs> Nick the chef, Chef Nick, who's going to talk to us a little bit about what he's powering those boys with today what have you had to feed them up with because presumably uh, they've had quite a lot yeah. of chicken i mean they're, they're hungry aren't they they're always hungry uh, a lot of chicken today yeah chicken on the menu today um but they've had breakfast to start with so a breakfast at about 10 o'clock for the cyclos 9 30 for the same well, what does that breakfast look like because for okay. most of us it's like toast with a bit of jam marmalade <laughs> but in this lot, case what of, is it like a lot of protein so a lot of eggs carbs so today we made them tortilla for instance so plenty of carbs plenty of protein in there some ham on the side, you know, we give them a lovely salad. So as, as we always say in this game, eat the rainbow. So they're eating the rainbow, so they're getting all that lovely nutrition from that as well. Then they come in, they go and have their meetings, they do a bit of training, they come back to us. They have another a lunch or a porridge pot. Um, today was lunch because they fancied the chicken. They're, they're very, you know, they're very, they're very uh, needy, yes. Uh, and then they, they obviously go out and then on the water they've got snacks, homemade snacks that we make them, sort of energy balls, energy bars. Um, a bit like feeding a ch children's tea party, banana, banana and peanut butter sandwiches or Nutella sandwiches. The Are you like actually that. kidding me? Are those guys getting Nutella sandwiches out there? Yeah, so we give them a high GI before they get on the, before they actually get on the boat to cycle. So sort of 30 minutes before they, they smash in a, a, a high GI sandwich, which is chocolate spread and banana or strawberry jam and bananas and things like that. So yeah. It's a bit like having a kid's party, really. So. It's not that hard being a cyclor, is it? Oh, really? Well, I tell you what, talking of cyclors, let's catch up with an Ineos Grenadier professional cyclist who I have just over here. I've just spotted him. Nice Nick, thanks so Thank much. You. Thanks so much. Cameron, Sorry, I'm going to yeah. grab you and pull yeah, you over this absolutely. way because uh, Cameron Worth you? has been, yes, you're looking at me Great. or down the barrel of the lens of that okay. camera at the, at the very people watching. I just want to talk to you about what you've been up to this morning because not least is Cameron here just to look at the base and what's going on with the boys, but also he's already been out on a training ride this morning, right? What did you do this morning? Yeah, just a few hours just up the coast just to check out the course and the conditions, just to a uh, little familiarisation for what's to come this afternoon. So, yeah, a little warm up. Now talk to me about what you make of what's going out on the on the Britannia boat in terms of the cyclos because they're putting down some serious power on those on those boats and what what are, what have you noticed from their training regimes what have you noticed about what they're expected to do in competition Yeah I mean I'm incredibly impressed I mean what they do as far as uh, cycling goes it's a world class cycling effort it's quite incredible uh, the amount of power these guys produce for that period of time for 20 minutes I mean these guys have been dedicated to this for the last 3 years we've been seeing them at team training camp four years now obviously um, and they honestly to be if I'm brutally honest they make us feel like we probably don't train hard enough at times and uh, you know I really uh, got along well with the guys because there's quite a lot of rowers I obviously started in rowing myself and I think the combination of the rowing and the cycling I think is uh, that um, ability to really sort of punish yourself for that shorter period of time I think uh, I think that's a really nice dynamic and, and I think will give you know, in Eos Britannica are a bit of an edge. I love the way you call it a punishment. I think you're right, but coming from you, you know, those plaudits, they're going to take them. Thanks so much, Cameron, Pleasure. and enjoy your day of watching the guys out there on the water. Thanks you want to have a go at this sometime? Well, I do. The funny thing was, I was actually born. My mum said I popped out about an hour before Colin Bond crossed the line with Australia when we won the America's Cup in 83. So uh, she was really happy to hear that I was coming down to support the guys today, and she thought it was potentially a good luck omen. So, um, yeah, no, I'm really happy to see be here and... Um, yeah, bring it home, boys. I hope you're going to be our lucky charm today. That's exactly <laughs> what we're after. Okay, well, let Cameron stay on the dock, stay safely on the dock, and I'll make my way down this ramp, and we'll try and catch up with both uh, Ben and Dylan, if we can, just to talk about a little bit of race strategy and the starts and how they're going to manage those comms. They're just getting a bit of a briefing at the moment, so I don't want to interrupt them. Well, I say I don't want to interrupt them. Let's give it a whirl. Guys, can I grab both of you? Yeah. So... Are you going to come on here? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think that would be safe or right or proper. Um, just talk to us about the strategy today, the game plan, because we've got two races, the Swiss and then the Italians. How do you manage that approach? Do you take it differently with either team? I mean, how are you going to approach today? Yeah, no, we, we will take it slightly differently. Obviously, there's you know nuances with, with every team, but you know with the Swiss, um, we're a different entry to the start line. We uh, start at entry, so. That has a, has a little bit of a change in the game plan, but Dylan, what about against Luna Rosa? 
Yeah, I think it'll be an interesting one against them. They, uh, we had a, you know, a good pre-start with them last time, so hopefully we can get on top of them in the pre-start and cover them from there. Okay, and what about the comms between you two? Because presumably every day you're out there and you're growing in confidence and you're working each other out. How important is it to get the comms absolutely bang on the money for these starts that we've seen are clearly very, very important? Yeah, of course, it's really critical and it's hard because you can't really see from one side of the boat to the other. So there's a lot, lot of trust going on, not just between Dylan and I, but everyone on the boat, frankly. But yeah, we, we get on all right. D Dylan does a good job of letting me know when I'm going over ley line and, and, and simple stuff like that. And we, we do all right, I think. Dylan, if you want any advice from someone that knows how to speak to this guy, just, just shout. Yeah, that would be, yeah. What are your top tips, Georgie? <laughs> Don't say too much. Okay, yeah, coffee. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great time out there today. We are rooting for you. Quite light conditions, we feel. We're thinking round about what, like sort of six to eight? Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit more. It depends on this cloud cover, really, but hopefully we'll have enough to race. Okay, we'll have the best of days. Swiss and then the Italians a little later. Don't forget, you can watch all the action on TNT Sports or, in fact, on YouTube. And if you want to watch analysis later on, you can also do that via YouTube too. And we'll see you for tomorrow's Doc Walk.